Hello YouTube, this is Little Mr. Hardcore, aka Robert, with a uh, some pickups recap, a uh, draft party recap. That was a blast, but we'll get into that. But uh, first, I went to a, a church rummage sale. I missed a few things, but I did pick up some things. Pick this up. It's, uh, it's like a fat head type deal. You get the Ohio State Buckeye, then you get a little one there. Brutus the Buckeye, but you also get on this side you get the helmet plus a mini Brutus. It was 50 cents as the sticker said and I couldn't pass that up. So I picked that up. What else did I pick up at that sale? I picked up this. I just thought it was cool. It's uh, Gonzo from uh, the Muppets. Just like a Beanie Baby. It's the Disney version. The Disney Store version. Whatever. Disney Parks. Whatever. But anyways, that was pretty cool. And then I picked these up. So I seen some guy leaving with a, uh, with a uh, what do you call it, uh, bobbleheads. I wish I would have got them, but I missed them. But I did buy this, this, and this. The three Cleveland players paid a dollar for those, which they're normally like ten bucks for one. So that was a steal. I thought it was anyways. And then what else did I buy at that sale? Not nothing mentionable, I don't think. But then we went to another sale, and I bought... Uh, let's see, I think it was these these ones. I bought uh, Insidious Chapter 3. Yep, I paid the 50 cents. DVD, paid 50 cents. And this was laying next to it, so I had to get it. Step Brothers Blu-ray, 50 cents. And then bought this, the uh, complete edition of Grand Theft Auto 4 with episodes from Liberty City. $2 I paid for that. Then we went to the Dollar Tree. And they had some DVDs sitting out. So I hit those up. Got Legends of the Oz, Dorothy's Return. It's got the girl from uh, Glee in it. Transformers Prime. I always pick up the Transformer movies. Uh... Primates of the Seven Seas, uh, Tremors 2, and this Blu-ray called Ninja. I don't know if that's the one that's supposed to be Ninja Gaiden or not, but either or Ninja. So those movies pickups were pretty sweet. Now on to the draft. First, we uh, there's some spots where they give you stuff once you like sign up or whatever, and we got. Well, these ones, they just had a table and you come up and pick whatever you wanted. Took a pair of sunglasses. They don't, they just have College Advantage, Ohio's 529 Savings Program on them. Other than that, they're just sunglasses. Got two of those. They also gave us a pen, which is sitting around here somewhere. And then we got, was it Jack's? This is where we got these ones? No, Fifth Third Bank. Spin a wheel and whatever you get, that's what you get. Ended up with glasses and if you took a picture they'd give you something too so got another pair of glasses and I also got these gloves with the fifth third bank logo on one glove so there was those and then we waited in line they have usually have a couple players current players and then a couple uh former players and we went to that oh because the former players were like almost right away we got Let's see, first we got, uh, uh oh, I think one of my cards disappeared. Hold on a second. There it is, it was stuck. But we got, uh, first one was Reggie Langhorn. These are the cards they have ready for you. This one got smeared. Didn't even notice. But Reggie Langhorn. Signed two of these. They, they were, they had, they were like signing these like crazy and then they would, would sign whatever you had and, this is what I had, and he said he really liked the photo. There it is. Reggie Langhorn. And then, uh, next one was Gre Greg Pruitt. Signed two of these. And then, the photo I had. Seems like every time, I wanted, definitely wanted, this is where he did like a face mask and his helmet turned backwards. And, uh, he was talking to me about the photo, said that he ended up later in 
later in uh, his career, he ended up being teammates with whoever the Jets player is. Right there. Whoever that is. So there's those. And then we went back into, we went to the, uh, when you first get in, the first thing you want to do is go to the, uh, what's it called? Not the pro shot, the locker, they call it the locker room sale, where like most of the time it's anything former players you can buy for pretty cheap. And of course, me being a Joe Hayden fan, I went to look for Joe Hayden stuff. And I went back, oh, before I forget, I want a set of a claw machine. It's Mr. Me Seeks from Rick and Morty. Still pretty sweet, but anyways. So we went back in there and got, or I started looking around. I My whole intent was buy a couple mini helmets, see who they had, and see if they had my Joe Hayden, and if Joe Thomas was in there because he retired, but I thought they might keep his stuff because he's going to be a Hall of Fame, guaranteed. But anyways, got this, uh, Chomps? Yeah, Chomps. I don't know why it made me think, but this Chomps plush. Got two of those. I gave one away, and they have the price tag on it as $26. Anyways, being at the locker room sale, they had it for a dollar, so we bought it. Bought two of them. So there's that. And then, uh, it even says Chomps on the jersey. Anyways, so I went over to where the photos were, started looking, and I found this. So I had to have it. Paid five bucks. Signed photo by Joe Hayden. So that's awesome. It's going to go in the mini autograph collection of Joe Hayden I have. Once we were getting ready to leave, because we the it started clearing out after the first and fourth pick because a lot of people were mad. There was some really upset people when we picked uh, Baker Mayfield as our first pick. And then we passed on Chubb and got the kid from Ohio State. I don't watch a lot of college, so to me it doesn't matter really until the game starts. But when we were getting ready to leave, I went over to where the signed footballs were. And I didn't even notice until I started looking through the footballs and found this one. And you can there's I left a price tag on it. Five dollars signed football of Johnny Manziel. I couldn't pass that up. I know there's he's it's got a little scuff on it, but maybe that's why it was five bucks. But Johnny Manziel signed football. That's awesome. I'll take it any day. But earlier when we first went back through there, I was a uh, main thing I went. Oh, can't forget this too. My wife found this hat fitted, which is the, what I prefer. Fitted Browns New Era hat. She picked that up for me, which is awesome. I've been wearing it all day today. But there's that. Uh, but we went into the when we went into the uh, locker room sale. I don't know why I keep forgetting what it's called. First thing, uh, first thing I always look for is too many helmets, which I did find one. Some of the others were players that I just didn't want. And I uh, went over to the footballs, and they had some of the footballs priced kind of expensive. Why well, I don't know. And then some were pretty cheap. And I found this one. Signed in gold, Joe Hayden, and as you can see, I paid five bucks. The ball is worth more than five bucks, but either or, it is a Cleveland Browns football, but it is cool as can be, and it's signed by Joe Hayden, so that's definitely going to stay in my collection forever, and then, uh, as I said, I was looking for a mini helmet, so I went over and paid 15 bucks for that. Joe Hayden mini helmet. It might even say Joe Hayden on the bottom. It does. Fan experience Hayden. That is awesome. He said he went to Pittsburgh, but that is awesome. So there's what I bought. I mean, stuff was going pretty fast. We also got a cup. And some, what else did we get? A random cup and some other stuff. I did get a coffee cup. I won from uh, Jack's Casino. But that's it that I can remember. I don't think we got anything else. But anyways, other than that. Oh. Oh, missed something. My wife did win these. It's a pair of uh, earbuds from Fifth Third Bank. Or Jax. It's still Jax. He says Jax on them. I don't know if y'all can see that. But it says Jax. Earbuds. Either way. Gave those to my son. He seems to like them. But then one of the main reasons we went other than. 
the pro shop, which is always awesome. Uh, there was two players supposed to be there, and then they took it off the website to where you couldn't even read it, so everyone was worried they weren't going to show. There was people talking about it throughout the show, even when the alumni were signing, so we didn't know what to do. And then I seen where a line started, and my brother came over and goes, Hey, you going to get in line? So I ran over and got in line, me and my wife. And here's the first guy we got, David Njoku. This is my edit. I've been doing these edits with the flag. I, this is the players I like. I put this flag behind it because I think it looks cool. And he also liked it. So, And then this photo, and my wife gets signed. I'm pretty sure it might be his first NFL touchdown that I'm not sure of. But it is a sweet photo. Credit to whoever took it. But that is cool. So there's that. And then one of the main, main reasons. Because he don't have no autograph cards out. Or jersey cards for that matter. But he was signing. And he was actually signing for adults. Which is crazy. Because at training camp he did not like signing for adults. And he was giving us the full signature. And not the just his initials. Here's one of my edits. Miles Garrett. So that is awesome. And then I asked my wife to get, see if he, she could get an inscription from him. And she pulled through and got one of our fiber optic helmets. It says Miles Garrett, first round pick, which is awesome. Yeah, there you go. It's lit up pretty good. But it is awesome to get Miles Garrett. So that is. We've gotten him before, but I mean, not solo and with an inscription, because I don't. I've never seen anything with an inscription and full signature, which is nice. But that was... It. Oh, another story that I just remembered. Right when we were uh, waiting for the picks and everything, there's a guy really drunk. I mean, he was drunk, drunk. He was so drunk, he ended up pissing his pants. And he's, like, going around showing her. He's like, look what I did. You know, he was all proud of it. <laughs> oh, it was funny. There was some, there were some characters there. And people getting mad when our picks and... One old guy come walking by me. I didn't know the Browns could uh, disappoint me two times in one day. I was like, oh, man, just give them a chance. I don't know enough about the picks to be mad or happy. I, everyone said we wanted Chubb. We got a Chubb today in the second round, and I still don't know what's going on. But anyways, I took enough of your time. Let me know what you guys think about what we got, especially the Hayden pickups. Woo! But anyways... Mr. Meeseeks. And. Nope. Oh, can't see Gonzo Bear. There you go. Gonzo. Bye.